Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Josh KI6NAZ. I get asked a ton of questions uh, via email, on Facebook, on Discord, and they're things like, you know, what radio should I get? I'm thinking about this antenna. Um, I'd like to get my license or I'd like to upgrade from technician to general. All these fairly focused questions. I seldom get asked really just high open level questions like something somebody would ask when they're starting out so i went on discord and i asked everybody you know tell me a question that you had when you were starting out with radio that you ended up getting answered but you know for a while you held on to it just like hey you know what is all this about and I got a bunch of feedback. Uh, the questions still are rolling in, which is great. And if you have a question like that, post in the link in the description. Post it in the description. Post a comment down below, and I'll make a video on it. And what I'm planning on doing, instead of the standard fare, you know, 8 to 15 minute long videos going over a particular topic, or a live stream that takes, you know, over an hour, I'm just going to do one minute, one ham radio minute talking about this topic. So these series of vignettes or small little answers will be more of a condensed, not as detailed response that will give people a direction to go, a right way to look at it. Instead of com being completely unknowing of what it is or just assuming it's this when, when actually it's, it's incorrect, it's something else, maybe this will just point you in the right direction. So at least you'll know where to go in case you want to Google it or get some more info. So. Without further ado, let's get started. First question, what is amateur radio? Ooh, a tough one. <laughs> At least to do in one minute. Let's see if I can do it. The word amateur means non-professional, meaning we're not getting paid. But we're still governed based off the FCC in the United States. Other countries have their own versions of it. We take a test when we have the license based off of passing that test, we're allowed unsupported communication using our radios. Our antenna, our radio, our batteries, our power source is all we need to make long distance communication and support things like emergency preparedness, contesting for fun, getting outdoors, working things like soda summits on the air. It's all about communication, but we can cover all kinds of different types of communication. Voice, digital, Morse code, all through the capabilities of our radio. And there's a service and hobby aspect to it. Service in that we're prepared for emergencies to route traffic and hobby in the sense that we learn and grow our technological understanding of RF, both from building radios, repairing radios, or just enjoying how they work and understanding how they function. So that's amateur radio in a nutshell. It'll give you something to start with. Hope that covers it. Thanks a lot for watching. I am Hashnasi KI6NAZ. Please subscribe if you have not. More to come. See ya.